So I've got this no start condition on this uh, 2004 JCB 2CX in Europe, 212S here in the States. This has the uh, tier two missions engine. So it has a uh, Bosch injection pump. That's right there. And uh, so it won't start. So a couple things to check first are that you, uh, there's two solenoids on the, uh, on the lift pump. There's this one down, down here and that's for really the cold start advance. And then back in here is the one uh, that uh, has the fuel shut off. And so I just tested that it's got power with the key on. There's this connector uh, right here that uh, goes to the fuel shut off solenoid. And then up here is the switch right in, kind of hard to see. Right in here, because of the shadows, is the uh, switch for the cold start advance that goes into the intake uh, coolant passage. And I've got a problem with it where, I don't think this is my problem, but um, this connector is a bit loose right here, so I'm not getting anything on the output unless I wiggle this guy. And you can see that it, this, just wiggle this right there we go I do have power to it but it's because this connector here it's a bit iffy I don't have power coming out which I should because it's uh, about minus four degrees Celsius right now which is below freezing so this cold start event should be on and if I wiggle it just right I can get the uh, output to, uh, to turn on uh, the other problem I noticed which I think is my problem is this connector right here which goes to the uh, the fuel shutoff it comes out rather easy and if you listen you can hear the change in the uh, speed of the fuel pump as well as the clunk of the plunger on the uh, on the uh, fuel shutoff solenoid. I'll we'll try to put the mic closer so you can hear that. Right, I'll connect it now here click there so I'm going to uh, fix up these connections and see if I can get it to start so I fixed my uh, the cable that had to run a whole new cable to run down to the uh, uh, to the cold cold start solenoid here you can see it's it's now getting power and we still got power back here to our fuel shutoff solenoid. So now I'm just gonna try and start it. See if it. Uh, see if we'll go. So we're about to give it a shot here. Turn the glow plugs on for a bit. Still nothing. So I still got uh, no start. And so I've taken off the fuel line here. And with the key on right now, this should just be running full on. And there's nothing. So I'm starting to think it's the pump because I've already blown out the lines. And there's no restriction so what I'm going to do now is I've got a replacement that I had ordered a while ago when I first ran into this problem and I've got a replacement with one of these pumps the lift pump here the electric lift pump so I'm just gonna get into taking that out and replacing it the old pump is out. Uh, to get it out, I took the bowl off first. And then there's just enough room to get in there and pull off this electrical connector. And then, again, just enough room to get this line off. And the way to get it off is to push in. You can see this. Push in on that green 
green clip so you push in on it I used a tool like this just push it in and then it'll the quick disconnect will come off so here's a comparison of the uh, Chinese replacement pump it's about $50 off of uh, eBay or Amazon here's the factory one I did take apart this one make sure it came with a new filter and it does so you should be good to go so I got the new pump in you can hear it uh, whining away um, one thing I'll point out is you need to make sure you've got it all hooked up including back to here or it will not prime by itself you won't see anything come out of this line here so I hooked it up it's uh, supposed to self prime this or self bleed the injection pump so uh, their injector pump so I'll uh, supposed to let it run for about a minute and a half I've done that so now I'm going to uh, hop in the cab and see if it starts another thing I'll point out is with this new pump the uh, the bowl on the sediment filter is staying uh, completely full of fuel. With the old pump, you would have saw it. It just didn't have enough power to uh, to keep it full. <laughs> 